everyone, welcome back to a new video. I just got back from London yesterday and normally I like to kind of unpack straight away. I didn't film any uh, YouTube videos when I was in London and I was like, let me film all the outfits that I wore in London because I think it can be a very good inspiration for transitional outfits like casual chic that you can wear for at least the next few weeks before really it gets cold. I was very lucky in London, I had lovely weather in case you go to London or if you are in the city, it all looks that you can relate. But let's get started because I have quite a few. Outfit one, let's start from my airport looks. So when I left last Saturday morning, my flight was quite early, so Mena drove me to the airport, I think around 7 a.m., so it was quite cold so I layered. Since I discovered the brand Varley, every time I travel, if it's like Europe, like long haul flight, when I go to Italy, all my airport outfits are always Varley, like it's so soft, it's so comfortable and also it's all items that I keep using when I'm away, when I'm like, you know, around the house or like when we go for a walk. So I think it's just like a very nice casual, chic, comfortable look to have my luggage. What I was wearing, these are the two pieces, trousers and sweater. But the trousers, I love the, this like light gray, it comes in other colors as well. And in all these Varley pieces, I am wearing size medium. So that's my size in Varley in general. These are the trousers, as you can see in the cutaway. They are sort of like cargo style design but then, of course, in a very soft, casual material. Barley materials are so incredibly soft and comfortable. I really love it. And then two sweaters that go with these trousers. And I actually had both of them with me. So there is, these are the two sweaters. They are pretty much the same, but the neckline is different. So one as a zipper that you can wear it open, the tank top underneath, and one as a sort of a loose turtleneck. These are all things that also here back home I use when I go to the gym as well. One sweater I was wearing, the other sweater I had it on my shoulders because pretty much this season 90% of all my outfits have like a sweater on my shoulders. Uh, it's just part of my style and it's always really handy to have it. This is the jacket, sort of like a fleece material jacket, but like a little bit more chic than your regular fleece jacket and then you have pockets at the front. And this is the type of jacket that from now on is gonna be like also my school run jacket because every morning when I do the school run, I drop Emma at school and then I go for half an hour, 45 minutes walk with Lily. So, you know, I'm, I'm always very casual in the morning. So this is something that I will keep wearing every day. And then I had sneakers, of course. I had these two bags with me, Celine crossbody, where I just kept my wallet and my passport, just, you know, handy to just have it like on me. And then I had this Vanley shopper, that is amazing because I could have my Birkin inside, no one could see it and I don't like to pack my Birkin or Kelly's because I want to keep the shape. So this, it was perfect. So it's big enough to hold a Birkin 30 inside, just bear in mind, perfect. Outfit number two, when I arrived in London, I arrived at the hotel, we stayed at Soho House, Dean Street Townhouse, so in Soho. The weather was still amazing, like super sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I didn't need to wear a jacket that day. So our room was not ready yet, so I was prepared for that. I packed this outfit in my carry-on so I could just, you know, change in the bathroom before our room was ready and then we had to lunch with a friend. I'm always very strategic in the way that I pack, so I thought I'm not gonna be able to access any like steamer or iron, so I want something that's just gonna be nice when I take it out my carry-on. 
so it was a full denim outfit. I love this blouse. It's like a denim shirt but with a cut of a more elegant blouse. Balloon sleeves that you can wear like down or up. Then I match it with jeans that these are such a good fit from Rose Paris. High waisted, straight and then a crop leg that looked very good with like either ballerina or loafers. I was wearing loafers these days. I went for size 29 and then I wore my Chanel 19 bag and the belt was from Cezanne. These are the new Cezanne loafers. One of my newest shoes for the new season and these are like B color loafers. They come in different colors but these are like navy and sort of like white cream. I saw these since last year but then they were always sold out so this season I grabbed them immediately as soon as they come back with the fall season because I didn't want them to sell out again. They are so comfortable, they are quite high so it is a kind of sole that can be worn in winter as well. I went for the blue because I wear a lot of denim in general all year long so I feel that I could match them with denim really well. Outfit number three, it is what I'm actually re-wearing today. So at this point, it was Sunday morning. We spent Sunday morning in Long John and then we headed to Lorna's house in the Cotswolds. So I wanted something like nice, but also like very comfortable to be in the car. And then in the afternoon, we headed for a drink at So Farmhouse. So again, something like casual, a bit of a less city vibe but still I wear this in the city as well as you can see I wear it today in Amsterdam so the sweater you probably have seen this before and I have it in two colors this is from Cezanne is their signature striped sweater with the bottoms this one it is navy blue with cream this is the other color I've got so this is like basically the same sweater but in the opposite color so it is cream with navy blue stripes and then I match the sweater with blue trousers uh, these are also from Cezanne so this was like a full Cezanne outfit and then because I really really like to match blue with black navy blue with black I know that like in the books not match blue with black but I actually find it really chic and elegant and I really like it so black chanel 19 bag accessories were black chanel 19 bag in the medium size it fits a lot this bag and black chanel ballerinas and then monday morning outfit again casual we were still on monday morning at lorna's house so in the british countryside so i opted for another Cezanne look kind of matching the vibe of the British countryside with the dark khaki trench coat which I love but let me show you the look so the jeans I wore I absolutely love are from another store is a bit of a, like long leg but like relaxed leg the difference of the other ones that they like the one from Rose Paris like more cropped while these are longer then striped blue and white shirt as well from Cezanne this is sort of like be of a relaxed tomboy style so I didn't size up in the shirt I'm wearing my regular size 38 because already comes quite of a relaxed cut so I don't think you need to size up and then uh, I tuck it in and I wore it with this belt that is from Kos from now on the rest of the outfits I wore it every day I absolutely love it at the moment I'm a little bit less into designer belts I like this like very plain as long as they like quali good quality they feel good they still look good and like very clean this is 100% leather it's from Kos I love the shade of dark brown I feel that I can match it so well and in fact, I've been wearing it for so many looks. And then I wore my Chanel uh, Ballerina in beige. This is the trench coat I absolutely love. So it is dark khaki in the outside, tucked in the inside. And I love because, of course, if you leave it a bit open, when you walk, you do show the detail. So if you roll up the sleeve, you have this detail. 
love it. I'm wearing size 40, so I did size up in the trench. I want it to be big. And then I wore that, I posted this yesterday on my Instagram. Everyone loved this bag. It, it was sold out yesterday. I hope Cezanne is gonna bring it back because so many people <laughs> One today. It also comes in like suede, uh, which is also very beautiful and it is an excellent price point. I think it's around 300 euros. Real leather. Also a very good work bag. And I think that we might have to dedicate an extra video on this bag because probably it deserves her own review because it's so good. Second outfit I wore on Monday, so Monday afternoon we drove back to London, we had a dinner in Mayfair. Normally for a dinner in Mayfair I would wear heels because it's always quite dressy, but before that, still at time, so we went for a browse in Selfridges, so I decided to wear like kind of a chic look, but with flats. This was the outfit, I love these trousers, these are from by Malina. It is such an incredibly lovely material, elegant and long, it also fit really well with the heels. I match these with this super cute brown jacket, also from Rose Paris. Cute crop jacket, can dress up and down easily and then you have like gold buttons also on smaller on the sleeve. In terms of accessories, I wore again the brown <laughs> cos belt because as I said it goes with all my looks. Black, my black Birkin and the beige Chanel ballerinas. So at this point it was Tuesday, full day of meetings in Mayfair, a bit of walking so I wore like flat shoes again so I wanted something that I could be comfortable but at the same time elegant all day because the weather was so amazing that I didn't need to wear a jacket but you could easily add a blazer or a suede jacket to this look full grey look so I have these trousers from an Amsterdam brand that is called Zengi and then I matched it with this sort of like shirt blouse from Rose Paris as well the front it looks like a regular uh, bottom down with the very cute Peter Pan collar and the sleeves are, they're not really like balloon sleeve, like, but a little bit elegant feminine sleeve. And then the back is like this, so it's like all drapey and loose. At the same time very comfortable and then of course in terms of accessories my cos belt again, Chanel uh, beige ballerinas. I liked this look with like a big bag, so I wore my Goyard in grey and brown. I love this bag. This to me is not just a travel bag, it's the perfect travel bag, but also is the perfect everyday bag for winter. I love these shoppers for like every day. Tuesday night there was actually a party but I wanted to see my cousin in London as well so I skipped the party, I went for dinner, lovely evening, actually stayed um, at the restaurant at Dean Street Townhouse on the terrace, we were able to dine outside, it's such a treat in September in London. Um, so I wore this lovely suede set, so mini skirt, not like super mini, like it's a short skirt but like not incredibly short, so that is a good short length. I love them together but I'm gonna wear these also a lot separate uh, stylings, uh, but it was the first time I was wearing it so I decided to wear it as a set and then underneath, um, I think it fits it would fit really well with a simple tank top or white t-shirt underneath but I decided to wear a little bit of a more like pretty blouse because you know it was dinner from a Dutch brand called Fabienne Chapeau. Accessories, I went for black. My black tall totem boots. This is the third year that I have these boots and they are, I still love them, I'm sure. I'm gonna wear them still a lot this winter, so they were a great investment. And then I have a new bag that I haven't shown you yet, Raw Half Moon bag that I felt it was the perfect 
evening bag. My last outfit I wore in London, it was Wednesday. We actually dedicate Wednesday for shopping because at this point I was, after five days in London, didn't go shopping yet like properly and I felt like this never happened before so I was like today is the last day I want to shop so I think I can show you then in another video what I bought in London last day outfit go shopping in Mayfair so I wanted to be elegant I was planning to change before going to the airport but I felt so good and comfortable in this outfit that I kept it and I hope at this point you are still here because you have to see these trousers. Another store is trousers that I've ordered before leaving. They literally arrived the day before I went to London. My current favorite tr black trousers, they are a really like thick material. Thick in terms of like, they feel really good quality. They fit really well. They look more expensive than what they actually are. You can wear them with a belt, which I actually, of course, I wore my cost brown belt again and if you are tall and you are normally struggling with like good long trousers you know I'm the same so these are a very very good length I sized up so I wear actually a size 42 they are a little bit loose on my waist but you know I fixed that the belt and it gave me an extra little bit of length and on me that I'm tall are perfect so if you are shorter than me, you don't need to size up, but these are excellent trousers that you can dress up and down, so they would look really good with heels as well. And then I wore um, a plain white t-shirt underneath and then my source unknown brown suede jacket. I know that everyone is obsessed with this jacket. It is sold out at the moment. This one comes with a kind of a high price point, I think it's like just below a thousand euros it's like 950 i think but the material it is really really good it is 100 percent suede lambskin so of course you pay for that i wore the cezanne cream sweater on my shoulders and then black mary jane with a square toe i bought this at the end of winter last year loved the square uh, point, a, like very nice style. I wore the black the row of moon bag. And then on the way to the airport, um, when I picked up my luggages at the hotel, I changed my shoes, I wore sneakers, and I kept this outfit for my flight back home. So very comfortable. Okay guys, so these were all my transitional outfits in September I wore in London. I hope this can be as an inspiration like if you go to London as well, if you go to like any really city trip in Europe, but also like something that you can wear towards your work week as well. I think like all of my outfits, they always like sort of something that you can also wear at the office. Hope it was useful. Do not subscribe to my channel yet. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comment. I always try to get back to everyone and I'll see you next week with the next video. Bye!